Hey guys, today we'll be doing level H 87A and H 87B. If you need any further help, just join the Discord linked in the description. First question. We have these two equations and we want to find x and y. We're going to label the equations 1 and 2 to make it easier. Now we have to expand the brackets for number 1. So we get 2 times 2x, which is 4x, 2 times 3y, which is plus 6y, minus 8x equals 14. We simplify this. 4x minus 8x is minus 4x plus 6y equals 14. This is equation 1 so far. Equation 2 we can also expand. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2y is plus 8y. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative y is plus 3y equals 9. Then 4x minus 3x is x plus 11y equals 9. That's equation 2. Now we can actually simplify the top equation further if we divide the whole thing by 2. So we get negative 2x plus 3y equals 7. Now we look at equations 1 and 2, this equation here and this equation here. We find something that we can multiply and then subtract, which will get rid of one of the things. Or you can do multiply and add if you feel like it. So we see here there's an x and up here there's a 2x, negative 2x. If we times this x at the bottom by negative 2, we will get the top equation of negative 2x, which is this equal, which is what we want. So we do 2, and since we're timesing 1 by, since we're timesing equation 2 by 2, we have to times the whole thing. Okay, so we got equation 2 times negative 2 is negative 2x minus 22y, and then 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. That's our new equation 2. And our other equation 1 from above was negative 2x plus 3y equals 7. These are our two equations now, and we want to get rid of this negative 2x. To get rid of it, we can literally subtract the equations. So 2 equation 2 minus equation 1. This can be done if we just draw a line underneath and do that. Negative 18 minus 7 is negative 25. Negative 22y minus 3y is negative 25y. Negative 2x minus 2x minus negative 2x becomes negative 2x plus 2x, which is 0, so we put nothing in front. Now with this equation, we've eliminated x, and we can just call this equation 3 if we want. We've eliminated x totally out of the equation, and we can solve for y. y has to be 1, because negative 25 times 1 will give us negative 25. We can plug that in on our y over here, and then we can substitute this 1 into any equation with an x above, basically. So let's just go for this one here because it's simple, okay? This equation here. We're going to substitute y into this. So this equation is x plus 11y equals 9. Now we can just write above it, substituting y equals 1. Now we just replace all the y's in this equation with 1. So we have x plus 11 brackets 1 equals 9, x equals 9 minus 11, x equals negative 2. So our answers are negative 2 and 1. I'm going to do two more to run through, make sure you guys understand. The next page, we have this equation. Now first of all, we don't want the fraction. So we're just going to label this 1, label this 2. First step is to get rid of the fraction. So we want to times the whole of equation 1 by 2 will give us 2x plus 2 equals y. And we want to move the y on the same side as x. So 2x minus y and move the 2 over because negative 2. I just like to work it out that way. It's a bit simpler. So that's our new equation 1. Equation 2, we just want to make everything on the same side. So 2, 5x minus 2y equals 1. Now we want to look at these two equations and see if we can multiply one of them by a certain number 
to make an x or y equal. In this case, we can multiply equation 1 by 2. If we do this, we will get 4x minus 2y equals negative 4. The minus 2y is the most important part because it's the same as this here. Now we have that, we got 4x minus 2y equals negative 4 for our new equation 2. We can get this equation and this equation and subtract them. So we get 5x minus 2y equals 1, 4x minus 2y equals negative 4. Subtract these and we get 5x minus x, 5x minus 4x is x, minus 2y minus 2y minus is plus 0, so it's just 0. So x equals 1 minus minus 4 is 5. So x is 5 for this one. And then we can substitute this into equation 1 or equation 2, whichever one we choose. So if we put x equals 5 into this equation up here, we get 5 plus 1 equals y over 2, 6 equals y over 2, and then we solve for y to get y equals 12. So we get x equals 5, y equals 12. Question. This question here, we want to rearrange number 1, so x and y are on the same side, and we want to get rid of the decimals. So 1, we can times it by 10 to get rid of the decimals, so that's 4x equals 3y, and move the y to the other side to get 4x minus 3y equals 0. That's our new equation 1. Equation 2, on the other hand, we want to get rid of the decimals, uh, the fractions, and the LCM of 3 and 2 is 6, so we multiply the whole thing by 6. So 2 times 6. So it's 2 over 3 times 6 is 12 over 3x. 12 over 3x is the same as 4x. 1 over 2y times 6 will give us plus 3y equals 6. These are our two new equations. We want to subtract these because 4 is equal in both things. But we can't subtract the negative 3s because there's only one negative 3 and the other is positive. But you can add. Both ways will be correct, but in this case I'm going to be subtracting both equations. 4x minus 4x will get us 0x, which is what we want. Negative 3y minus 3y will give us negative 6y, and 0 minus 6 will get us negative 6. So y is equal to 1. Now we can substitute this into our equation. I'm going to pick this one here because it's nice and short. 4x equals 3, and then we substitute y is equal to 1 in this place here. So 4x equals 3, and x equals 3 over 4. I hope this video helped. If you want me to do any other ones, please leave a comment in the description or join the Discord. Have a good day.